Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 3 of this RMS Arundel Castle tutorial. Today's focus is the ship's forecastle shear, which is the sl uh, sloping of the deck, uh, the main deck, and then about uh, 2 or 3 decks of superstructure, which is going to be fun, so I've uh, got a lot to do. But we'll focus on the uh, bow shear first. And what we're going to do, go to the tip of the bow on the inside of the hull, so inside here, <coughs> and the tip of the bow here. And for the shear, we're going to use wood slabs, oak wood slab, or any slab really, but uh, we're going to use oak wood slabs, I will. And we're going to go from the top down to the third, the bottom of the third block. So th go from the top, go one, two, three blocks down, and on the bottom of the third block is where we put our, begin our shear. So that's the, or the deck anyway, that's where we begin the, the deck. So one, two, three, bottom half of the third block and it should be there. And then what you want to do is add 11 slabs, so that's the first slab, and then we want to add, yeah, 11, so it's uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then underneath that you want 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then underneath that 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then underneath that you want 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's the first four sections of the bow shear. And at the end of the 16 here you add a white block. And then build that down four. So that's one, and then two, three, four down like that. So that's the uh, the end of the focus wall basically. So that's the, the wall there. And then this wall here, you're going to increase that so it's 27 wide. So that is... What's that? It's 13 on the side. So build out 13 each way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 that way. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 that way. And you can see it doesn't actually attach to the side of the ship, but that's, that's something we need to fix in a minute. And then what we do, we increase this wall down to four blocks high, like so. And uh, I use weld edit for this one. So make the wall four blocks high or down to the way, set uh, quartz like so, so it's four blocks high that way and then four blocks high that way like that, and there's our wall there and at the end of the wall, what you're going to do in your grey blocks, using the grey uh, hull colour uh, you're going to go from the uh, top block of the side here, so you the side of the wall, add a block there and a block back like so, and then build that down to the hull like that and then build it forward, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then fill in the gap like so. That's just a section of the hull I missed out in the last part, but uh, this is just filling it in. So uh, do the same on the other side. Go from the top block of the white, go one, and then one back. Down two, one, two, and then five forward, or four forward, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then fill in the gap like so. And there we go, there's the, the hull completed in that area. And then if you want to, you can add a few curvy bits, well not curvy bits, but a few blocks in this area here. So you can sort of add one block, uh, two blocks there, and then one there. If you want, it sort of creates the curve of the hull if you want. I'll do the same on the other side. So we'll add two blocks there, and then one there like that. And that's our little job done there. And then what you want to do now is to go to the back to the centre of the, uh, the, the uh, wall itself and add slabs underneath like so underneath uh, the, the wall, so add a, add a line of slabs underneath the wall like so just a, just a line like that and then back to the centre again, I'll put a colour block so I know that is the centre so uh, there we go, there's the centre and then underneath this line here you're going to build back again, so from the centre uh, we're going to actually work out what to do here, we want to go slabs uh, 20 back, so underneath we go back 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you got 20 back like that, and then underneath that, add a block, like so. So that's the beginning of the main deck. So then we can uh, build the deck all the way the full width of the ship, like so. Like that. And you can see the deck is one block below the top of the grey hull. That is how it should be. So there we are. So that the sheer curve of the sheer is done. And then from these wood blocks here, you build the deck all the way back to the uh, back end of the ship. So, um, yeah, I do that now. So like I say, you just build the deck all the way back, filling it all in by hand. And uh, it should all be okay. So I use World Edit to fill it all in. So fill wood by... 20,000 and this should take quite a while because it does take 
So you want to build this deck all the way back to the uh, tip of the stern at the back of the ship. And eventually it will get there. And then we'll go back to fill in the uh, shear. Bear with me on this one. Oh, right, there's the deck filled in. That was quicker than I expected. And uh, it should look something like that. So you can see you've got the shear here already filled, they're already laid out, but the rest of the deck is filled in. So that's how it should be from the end of the shear going back. The deck should all be filled in. And I'll just go back and check to make sure that is. And you can see you've got uh, the deck is one block below the top of the grey, which is fine. And yep, the stern, the deck is all filled in, so that's fine. So I shall fly all the way back to the front end now. And we just got to fill in the uh, the shear part, which which is all slabs. So I'll start at the tip of the bow again and start filling in that area there. So where the uh, the deck, so yeah, so we're at the tip of the bow here. So where the deck slopes down, we will just build outwards each section and fill that in with slabs. And I have to do all this by hand because well that it doesn't like positioning the slabs very well. So there we are. There's the first section, and the next section is. Uh, one half a slab down, or one slab down rather, because the slabs are half blocks. And that's the next section done there. As you can see, you've got two sections done. And then the third section, like so, the same again. And you sort of get the idea, so you, do, you go down to the next section, it's the same again. All the way back there, and then that, that, one, that, one, <coughs> that section there will go all the way to the white wall. And you do the same on the other side as well, and then you do the same uh, with the shear down here behind the white wall. So, um, yeah, that's what uh, it's going to end up like in theory. So I'll do this section here, and then I'll do the jump cut to fill in the rest, because, like I said, I've got to do it all by hand. Because uh, well, that it does not like slabs very well, very much. And that's the last one. Oh, that one section there. And there we go. That's that section done there. So carry on doing the rest, and do the same on the other side. And you will have a sort of very subtle slopey deck. And the same down there as well. And uh, it should all look fine. So uh, what I'll do, I'll do a quick jump cut while I fill in the rest. And then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck all filled in. It does look a bit weird, but uh, no big deal. And it should all look something like that nonetheless. And what I've done, I've added a coloured centre block on the uh, first line of wood blocks. So you've got the wood blocks here. So this is the uh, the lowest point of the deck. So the sl the deck slopes down to this point, and this is where the wood blocks begin. If you look there, and what we're going to do now is from the centre point here, we're going to uh, on the uh, wood blocks. We're going to count back to the tenth block back. So from where the the slabs end and the blocks begin, we we'll count back ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and on the tenth block we build a wall. And this wall just basically goes from point to point, and it should join up with the front of the white there. But the the full width should be 31 wide, so that is 15 either side. So there's the centre, so it should be 15 either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there it is, it connects up with the wall there. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. And there we go, and then just increase it to five high so it connects to the same height as the side walls. And uh, I, what, what I do, I use weld edit, saves a bit of time. And yeah, it should all line up just fine. If it don't line up, if you're one block too far back or one block too far forward, then just readjust your dimensions uh, for the front wall and it should be okay. Uh, remember, this is just a guide, and I can't remember what I'm doing now. Uh, oh, quartz. There we go, and there we are. There. There's the front wall. All added there, and it should look something like that. And marvelous, isn't it? it uh, starting to take shape. All right. Anyway, that's that done. And now what we want to do is go on the inside now of the uh, white walls, <clears throat> and one block down from the top. Uh, so we're at the front here, at the back it's slightly different, but from the front here we go one block down from the top, and we'll start adding the deck. So you see there, the deck is go it goes in that space there. So this goes all the way back. 
And because the, the white hull drops or the white walls drop down by one block at the back, the deck will be at the same height as the white on the back. And I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but if you go from the front here, you just add the deck one block below the top. So uh, what I'll do, I'll put a block there and stand on that. And I'll use World Edit to save an awful lot of time. And hopefully it will fill in quicker than last time. La 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 la. Oh, there we go. That's quicker than expected. All right, there we are. I can remove that block down there. And there we go. You see the deck is now filled in. It is one block below the top of the white. And that's fine. If I fly down to the back end, the deck is at the top of the white because, of course, the white drops down by one block. As you can see there, it looks fine. And the deck is all filled in. Marvellous. Beautiful. How everything should be planned out. Right, now what we're going to do now is go back to the front end. And we're going to start the inside walls, which is going to be fun. Right, so just fly all the way down there. And I'm just going to read my notes, so bear with me on this one. Right, so what we want to do now on the front wall, what I'm going to do first is find the centre block, which is that one there. And I'll replace that with a red block, so that is the centre there. Now what we're going to do is build the inside walls, which will support the superstructure. And we're going to go to the fourth block back on the wood. So one, two, three, four. And then build again there. So that is where the centre of the front wall will go. Now the front wall is uh, 23 wide so that is uh, 11 either side so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that way and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that way so there we are there's the front wall like so and then for the inside walls or the, or the side walls rather you're going to build uh, well I'm going to work on the right here on the right hand side and work build our side walls so the side walls are 20, uh, no, not 23, you want uh, 84, so you want uh, 84 blocks. So I measure as I go along, so you want 84. So, 84 blocks, I believe that is 84, yep. Yeah. So, uh, like I say, I measure as we go, it should be 84 in length when we get to the end. And you do the same on both sides, so it's symmetrical, okay? So, do the same on the other side as you're going along. So, how far is that? That is 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So, there we are. There's 84 block long wall there. And at the end of that you want to build inwards. You build inwards 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 like that. And then we want uh, 30 back. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 30 like that. And then we want to build outwards 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like that, and then you want to build the sides again 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, and then you want to build inwards 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the side walls again 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the side wall again, 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that should be the full length there. And as you can see there, we've got an awkward mess going in all sorts of directions. So it's 84, 7, 30, out 7, uh, 13, 5, 12, 5, 25. And it should look something like that. So you do the same on both sides. I'll put the foundations in. I'll, I'll copy it to the other side. But then again, you've got to increase the height of those walls to four blocks high. But I'll do that in a minute. I'll just get the foundations in on both sides so you get an idea of what we're, what we're dealing with here. So down to the centre there. And we'll do the copy. Flip to the right. And paste. And it should look something like that. Once you get both sides in, it should all look something like that. And it does look weird, but you know it's it's a thing. And what I do now, I go to the back wall, and we'll build the back wall across because I always forget that. Dunk down to there and build this wall across, like so. And then what you want to do, like I say, increase them all to four blocks high. And this will take a little while, so I'll do the first few walls, and then I'll do a, a jump cut because I don't want to be here all day, do we? Where's the set quartz? There it is. And like I say, I try and do one, I try to do as many as I can, but uh, be here all day otherwise. 
Do 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 ba do ba do. Do 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 do. And there's the 84 increased in height, and then I'll build this down to the center. And there we go, and I'll increase that as well. So there we are. There's one side done. And you can see it's all four blocks high. Now what you do, just do the same on the other side. So get that side done as well. Increase that to four blocks high and across the back as well. And then we can move on. So uh, I'll do a jump cut, and then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the walls all done, but I have made an almighty cock up, I will admit. Uh, I've built the walls four blocks high, okay, but they're actually meant to only be three blocks high. So you're just going to have to remove the top layer of blocks and reduce them down to three blocks high. I do apologize for this one, but uh, it's a quick fix, really. You don't have to uh, call it, you know, make it a disaster out of it. It's just a small, slight miscalculation on my part. Basically, I didn't read the numbers properly. So, yeah, apologies there. So remove the top layer of blocks, so reduce it down to three blocks. And then we can move on. So I'll, I'll quickly use weld edit for this one, otherwise I'd be a real bloody day. Right, and I want to do apologise, I just managed to do my first swear word in this tutorial. Marvellous. <laughs> anyway, we'll just uh, let's see, reduce this down to one, one block, so set to zero. There we go. All reduced down, so they're now, now they are three blocks high. So that's uh, disaster averted there. So what we're going to do now is go to the front wall and then we've got to build the side walls of the deck or the, or the foundations of the deck so we're going to go to the front wall now the walls are just built and reduced in height go to the center block which is this one here and on the top we're going to build three blocks of wood forward so one two three like that and then put a center block at the end like so so it creates an overhang if you like and then what you want to do is build the front wall which is a single line uh, 33 wide or 33 wide or the width of the ship so it's basically uh, the full width of the ship so it's 16 either side but it's the full width of the ship so you can see it goes up to the end like so uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so yeah 16 either side the full width of the ship so there we are. there's the front wall done like that and then for the sides uh, down the side of the ship we're going to build a line of 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like so, and then we want 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then after that you want uh, 84, is it 84, no, no, sorry, 140, so I was reading the wrong number there, so you want 140 afterwards, so put our first block there and I measure as we go along, so that's the first block, and we want 140 blocks, that's 140. So I don't know. I don't know where the number eighty-four came up from. But never mind. But uh, yeah, we want one hundred and forty, and it shouldn't take too long. Ah, so how far is that? That is one hundred thirty-six, one hundred thirty-seven, one hundred thirty-eight, one hundred thirty-nine, one hundred forty. There we go. So one hundred forty blocks there, like so, and then we just build the same across the back, the full width of the ship. Don't know how wide it is at this point, but to just build all the way across to the other side and up to the other side like that, and then do the same the other side. So I should do a copy paste of that, otherwise we'll be here all day. So copy from corner here up to the front end, just to do the other side, and everything should be lovely and dandy. So up to the centre here, and we'll do our copy paste. So uh, copy, uh, flip, and then paste. And there we go, there's the other side, and there's the found, uh, foundations of our next deck. And it should all look something like that. And then what you want to do is just go on the inside, sit on top of the inside walls here, and just start adding the deck. And this deck will go, well, basically from this front wall all the way down to the back wall there. So I'll do the first few blocks to give you an idea what the hell I'm talking about. And then, as you can see there, that's how it should be. And then I'll use the... I use the fill tool, stand on here and use the fill tool to fill in the rest, so fill wood by 20,000 and that should go all the way to the back and there we go, there's the deck added and it should look something like that marvellous wouldn't you say and then what you want to do now is go to the front wall again 
to this point here and what we're going to do is from the front corner corners of the front wall just build down two blocks to create a pillar there and the same on the other side a pillar there as well so there's going to be pillars going down the side now but we're not going to use blocks okay we're going to, we're going to use uh oh, what are they called uh, those white stick things are oh there they are uh end rods yes we're going to use those so we're going to use end rods but first what we're going to do is go to the um the center on the inside so it's not the top block but the center of the deck we of the deck below and we're going to put a block behind the front wall on the center there like that and then every fifth block so one two one two three four five put a block one two three four five put a block like so so it's uh, center block and two blocks that side and then two blocks the other side so one two three four five one two three four five like that so you've got five blocks on the inside like that you can see there and then you attach your pillars to those because of course if you, if you had the pillars going down from the top block it actually go down to the deck so it look a bit weird so I put those blocks there for the support of the pillars like so and there you go there's the front pillars looking like that all nice and neat like that there we go there's the pillars like that and what we can do now as well from the end blocks here what we can do is remove uh, four blocks of white there and replace them with stairs so we put stairs going down wherever the stair blocks are there so you can see remove four blocks of white there and then replace them with stairs going down to the deck below oh piss done damage right there we go. So anyway, there's the stairs going down like that. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up. And then two up, two up, two up. There we go. So there's the stairs on that side from that end pillar. And then we do the same the other side from the other end pillar. Remove one, two, three, four blocks and replace with stairs going down. And this is normally a detail I leave till later on, but I thought I'd do it now. And there we go. There's the stairs and then the banisters, two up, two up. Two up, two up, two up, two up. That's my phone ringing. Bear with me. Right, that was a brief phone call. Right, anyway. So there's the banisters done there, and the stairs on there like that, and it don't look too bad. Another detail we can add to those end pillars as well. Before we start doing the side pillars, we can just do a bit more detailing here. We'll get our up, we we'll get our quartz stairs, and what we'll do, we'll go to the pillars here on the front, these uh, chunky pillars, and put stairs upside down there. And on the side, upside down stairs, there. And it just gives the ship a little bit more, uh, <laughs> don't know, elegance maybe. And do the same on the other side, stairs there, and stairs there. And there we go. And that's that one there. Now for the pillars on the sides, I shall start on the, le on the uh, left hand side here. We're going to add pillars. Now I believe there's 34 of these pillars. But I'm not sure. I counted them, but it could end up being a different number. But uh, they're going to be every fifth block. So like the ones on the front, every fifth block. So I'll go from this pillar here and go one, two, three, four, five. Add a pillar. One, two, three, four, five. Add a pillar. One, two, three, four, five. Add a pillar. Three, four, five. Pillar. Two, three, four, five. Pillar. Two, three, four, five. Pillar. Three, four, five. Pillar. Uh, that's three, four, five, pillar. Oh, and as I say, I'm not counting them as I go along, but uh, we'll just go to the end of the uh, overhanging deck. So as long as you've got all the pillars attached to that, it should be okay. But how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll try and count them as I go. So that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 there, 31, 32, 33, and then 34. And there we go, that's the 34th one there. 
and it should look something like that. So you've got the pillars like that. So that's 34 pillars. So you do the same on both sides. I will do a copy paste of this because it, it did take a little while, but uh, it does look quite good with those uh, end rods as pillars. And so we've got the uh, design like that. So we'll do the same the other side. I'll copy it to the other side. So you want 34 pillars. So I'll uh, quickly copy this to the other side. Bear with me. Oh, fiddle. Right, copy to there. So we do copy, flip, paste. And that's both sides done. And there we go. That's the pillars on that side as well. And they do look quite good, I'll admit, with those uh, end rods. They're not the hell they're used for in real life, but, or in Minecraft anyway, but uh, they look quite good on a ship. Right, so that's that job done there. And now for the inside walls, what you can do is start adding the doors and windows. I know I say this all the time, but uh, I'll put a few windows here and there. So I normally put windows every t two blocks, and then sort of doors staggered everywhere. So there's three windows there, and then another window there, and one there. And then the last window there. So there we go. there's the front windows done there. And then for the side windows, you know, it's the usual routine. So I normally put a pair of doors. If I can find them. Doors, 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 doors. So I put a pair of doors there. And then sort of put eight windows or something. I just throw away the bloody glass block, you know. Alright, so you've got a pair of doors and then sort of add one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, make it nine, make it ten. So we've got two doors, ten windows, and then another pair of doors. This is not accurate to the real ship because the deck plans I used did not have the detail for all the uh, insides like this. So this, well, it showed the inside walls, but not the doors in the window placement. So I'm just doing this at random. So I put two doors, ten windows, then two doors, and then just carry on that same design all the way to the back of those inside walls. So. Uh, it shouldn't look too bad when done. So I'll do that in a jump cut and then uh, we can move on. So, um, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added all the doors and windows down the sides. You can see inside there, I've got the doors down there, and I've done the same on the other side. Take my word for it. Alright, so what we're going to do now is another job of inside walls, and this is going to be more complicated because it's going to be uh, taking inside walls and upper deck into account. Anyway, we're going to go to the centre block of the top deck and on the wood we're going to count back to the fourth block, no, fifth block back. So one, two, three, four, five and we start building there and I'll replace that with a red one. And so that's the beginning of the inside wall and the inside wall is 25 wide and so that is 12 either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve that way and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 that way and that's how that one should look so what we're going to do for the sides I shall work on the right hand side but it's the same on both sides okay so for the sides we want 23 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and then inwards 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 towards the centre that is and then we want 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, back like that. And then out 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then a line of 84. I believe this is right. So I put uh, 84. So I put the, put the first block there. And I shall measure as I go along. So 84 again. And everything should all line up. Bear with me on this one though. So 84 down the side, there's 84 blocks by the way, 84, 84, how far is that, that is 85, so I've got one too far, anyway, 84, there we go, 84, and then we want inward 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we want back 36, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that's 36 there, and then we want to go out 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then back 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like so. And then we want to build the other side. So we'll do this foundations here. So I've, the back wall we can add in a minute, but I'll do the foundations first of 
uh, on both sides. So that's the foundations of one side. So I'll do the other side quickly and get that all lined out. So I'm going to get both sides done. Like I said, they're both the same on both sides. So it'll be okay. So uh, copy, flip, paste. And there we go. There's both sides done. And it should look something like that. And I'll go back to that back wall. Because that's got to be sealed off as well. So I'll put the back wall across the back, connecting both sides together. Dunk down there. And just a line of blocks across the back. Like I keep saying. Like that. And then for these inside walls, you increase them all to three blocks high. So build them all three blocks high. All the way around. And we can move on. So I'll do the first few like before. And then we can move on. So like I say, three blocks high. Not four, but three. And where's the bloody set quartz thing? Where is it? Oh, there it is. So set quartz all the way around. So three blocks high all the way around. And then everything will be merry. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Dear. No, we don't want that one. There we go, quartz. Anyway, there's the first few filled in. And what I do now, I do a jump cut while I fill in the rest, and then we can move on. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's those walls increased in height. So they're all now three blocks high. Going all the way around. You can just see up there in the distance. They're there like that. Now what we're going to do now is uh, add a wall of white blocks across the front wall of the deck. So along the deck here, we're going to add a wall, a wall of white blocks across the width of the deck. All the way across the front. Because these will support windows. So I'll put the wall across like so, like that. And then for the sides, we want to add a wall as well. So for the sides, we want 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we want 60, uh, 62. So I'll measure as I go along. So that's the first box. We want 62 after that. After the 24, sorry. So 62 down the side. How far is that? That's 27. How far is that? That is 51. And that is 62. There we are. So 62 down there like that. And what I do, I do the same the other side. So, so you do the front wall, and then you want 11, 24, 62 down the other side. So I just quickly copy that to the other side. And there we go, there's the side wall done there. So it's 11, 24, 62 down the side like that. So you can see it's just a half wall going all the way down the side. Now what we're going to do now is go back to the front wall and we're going to add some windows. Um, I'm trying to work how we do this one. So front wall, what we're going to do on the front here is add five windows on the centre. So on the centre block we'll add a window there like that, two blocks high. And then you want to add two to the side like that. So you've got two windows there and then two to the other side. Like that, so you've got five windows like that, and then you're going to leave uh, leave a three block gap. So one, two, three, and then add two more windows like that, and then add leave a two block gap, and then add two more windows like that. So it goes out to the side. So I do the same on the other side. So you've got the five there. Leave a three block gap. One, two, three, and on the fourth block, add a pair of windows like that. Leave a two block gap and add another pair of windows. And there we go. There's the front wall looking like that and then what you do <laughs> you add the pillars in between so you know the where the windows are like so like so and there we are there's the uh, front windows like that and you can add the add the line across the top as well if you want to so I'll add the line over the top like so and there's our front windows looking something like that now for the side windows things are a pain in the ass to do but uh, I'm going to work on the left hand side and uh, we'll see how things pan out so the side we want a three block gap so we've got the first first pillar there already so we'll add another pillar and another pillar there like that so you've got a three block gap like that and then after that we want to add uh, nine windows with a two block gap between each so I add a first window two block gap, then window number two, window number three, window number four, 
number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine, like that. So there's nine windows like that, and then we'll add the pillars in between. So we'll add pillars like so. Like that, but don't do not add the line across the top yet. We're gonna that's gonna be counted, I think. So we've got the um the windows on the side done, like that. And then how do we do this on the side? We want to add another two pillars at the end, so two more pillars at the end like that. And that is the uh, side windows done there. So I'll do the same oh shit, I've fallen. So do the do the same the other side. So I'll add our nine windows there. So I'll add the, the add the pillars there, two pillars there, and then we'll add our nine windows. So that's one two three four five six seven eight nine plus the pillars in between there we are there's our windows added like that and then the last two pillars as well so there we are there's the pillars there so that's both sides done so I'll go back to the left side and what we're going to do now is add pillars. I'm trying to work out. I've written this down. Um, no, we don't add pillars yet. What we're going to do first is go back to the uh, front of the uh, front section here. And what we're going to do is build a line across the top of all the windows. Like so. Up to... Actually, do do the first 11 and then the, fir and then the 24. Like that, over the windows like that. So that's up to that point there, and then overlap or overhang until you get to the end of the 24 like that. So you can see this is this is the section of 24. It was 11, 24, and 62. So you just basically add the line across the top of the 20, across the 24 like that, and then the, the line will end like so. So you've got a gap here. You got the line going across the top, and then from there you're going to add a line of 62. So a line along the top, 62, basically the same length as the line below. So just trace the line below all the way back to 62. Oh, too far. There we are. There's the end of the 62 like that, and it should look something like that. You've got the line going like that. And then what you're going to do is build inwards. And I'm just trying to read this. So you've got, you got the line of 62. La, 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 la. And then you want to build inwards 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 under the top of the inside wall and then you want to build back 29 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and then build inward 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on the top like that and then back 22 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and then out three, one, two, three, to create an overhang again. And then you go back nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then inwards three, one, two, three. And then back three, one, two, three. And then you want to go out 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's out to the outside edge like that. And then you go back 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like that, across to the back, like that. And you can build the back wall all the way across the uh, width of the ship. Because, of course, it's exactly the same position on both sides. So I build the back wall all the way across the width of the ship, like that. And that is one side of those overhanging walls done. So it goes something like that. Can't really explain it too well, but. That is how that should be. So I'll try and do the other side actually. So I do. Uh, want the ele want the eleven, which is half done or quarterly done. So I did the eleven here, and then the twenty-four across the top like so, and then twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four like that. And then you add the sixty-two, which is all freehand, copy in the line below. Almost there we are. So there's the 62. And what was it? It was in 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then it was uh, 29. I'll, I won't bother counting it. I'll just measure it and compare it to the other side. Or measure as I go along. That would probably be a better idea. 
So you've got the 29, basically tracing the, the walls below. So there's the 29. And then what is it? It was in 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then uh, back 22. Like so. And then out 3, 1, 2, 3. Back 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then in 3, 1, 2, 3, back 3, 1, 2, 3, and then out 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> and then the 15 connecting to the back, like so. And there we are, there's the overhanging walls done like that, and then it should all look, I can't really get a good angle on how it should look, but to get, sort of get an idea. And then if we go back to the front end, we can start adding the uh, deck, and uh, it should all be fine, so I'll get to the front again. And as before, the deck will sit on top of these inside walls. The deck will go on the inside like this, of the top of the front wall. And then you just fill that deck all the way back in. It will go into the contours of the uh, of where the deck goes inwards and outwards. You can see the deck will narrow here, and then narrow again, and it'll get wider, narrower, and then wider again. So what I'll do, I'll stand here and use the fill tool, and that will fill in the full deck. Uh, wood by that. And that should fill in the whole thing, hopefully. Oh, there we go. And uh, there we go, there's the deck filled in. You can see you've got the uh, overhang section all around there across the back. And that little section there of the threes and nines. And then this open section here at the back. And there you go, you've got the open promenade here as well. And then all the way up to the front windows, like so. So there's the deck all filled in. And it don't look too bad. And then what we want to do now is add some pillars. I've not written down how many pillars there are, I don't think. But sort of get an idea. Just sort of copy the pillars below. But what we'll do in this corner here above the... Or from the last window here on the side, we'll add a, a set of stairs in there for the curve. So where's the stairs there? So we'll do an add stairs in there, like so. And then what we'll do, we'll add pillars every fifth block in, in the same position as the pillars below. So you've got pillars underneath. We'll add the pillars above, like so. Up to the end of this uh, 62 high block or 62 long uh, deck so there and there, there like I, said, I don't know how many pillars there are but we'll just go to the end of this deck of 62 blocks long and see what we end up with and there we go so there's those pillars added there so that's that deck added there that does look quite good doesn't it so that is those pillars added there. I'll do the other side in a minute, but first we've got to go to the back first. So there's the uh, front pillars done. So I'll go to the back of the uh, the deck we just done, or the deck below rather. And what we're going to do is on the deck under here, we're going to add a line of blocks across the back, full width of the ship. Like so. Like that. And then for the side, we want to add... Uh, 32, so we go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 32 on the side there, and we do 32 forward on the other side, so I do the same there. And I'll measure as I go along, otherwise I'll be here all day. So 32 down here. How far is that? That's 43, so that's gone too far. How far is that? That is 32. And there we are. So it's 32 down that side as well. And that should look something like that. And then what we can do now is add three pillars supporting this last deck house. So three pillars in the same position as the pillars below. So middle pillar, and then oh, end pillar there, and other end pillar there. So your three pillars there, like so, for that last deck house. So what I shall do, <coughs> what I'll do now, I quickly copy all this to the other side, using weld edit, of course, and then everything should be fine. So it's all remember it's the same on both sides. So you just uh, copy what's been done here, and then everything should be fine. So where's the center? The center is there. And we'll just do the usual copy, flip, paste, and that should be all the pillars down that side done. And there they are. That's the pillars all done. And that is that part of the ship done. And as before, what you can do now on the inside walls, you can start adding the doors and windows, like I did down below. And uh, everything should be fine. So that's all I'm going to do for today. We've done quite a bit. We've got over half an hour's work of, or half an hour's worth of work done. 
at least in terms of recording anyway and um and then look too bad so we've got uh, one two three four about four decks done and uh, the ship doesn't look too bad in my opinion so that is that there so that's what i'm going to do for today for part four i think that's the part we're going to uh, start with the ship's bridge deck and all the superstructure surrounding the top deck <gasps> pardon me probably uh, the funnel supports ship's wheelhouse and any other deck house that's required so um that would be for the next part so we shall leave it at that so uh yeah not done too bad so this is rich signing off logging off disappearing and i shall return in part four so uh bye for now